You might be wondering what the won't do smart list is used for within TickTick. You can see over on the left navigation pane that I have the won't do smart list enabled. If I click on it right now, it's empty. I don't have any items in this list. Now let's go back to the all smart list. Let's look at the task get the car washed, for example. Now I had planned to get the car washed four days ago. And at this point, I no longer plan to get my car washed. It's just not gonna happen. Now I have a couple of options. One is I could check this item as completed, which isn't necessarily true because I didn't complete that task. Another option is to delete the task entirely, but there's also a third option. It's called the won't do option. Now if I right click on this task, I can choose won't do. If I click back over to the won't do smart list at this point, you can see that the task is now in this list and there is a X through the checkbox, meaning that I didn't do it, but the task is still here for reference. So anytime I need to reference a task that I had planned to do at one point, but then decided I'm not gonna do it and I've marked that task as won't do, it will show up in the won't do smart list.